The 2016 G20 summit has concluded in China's eastern city of Hangzhou, with participants reporting productive meetings. World leaders regard the G20 as a significant platform for reaching agreement on global issues. CCTV's Chuck Tint has more. Eastern China's Hangzhou city just hosted the 2016 G20 for member and guest leaders. Meetings were held amid a sluggish world economic recovery and uncertainties that threaten world peace and stability. The summit is regarded as a vital platform for consensus building among top leaders. China has made tremendous efforts in preparing the G20 summit. Its organization was well done. Although there were different views over some issues, we negotiated and eventually signed some agreements. One of the major breakthroughs at the summit is China's and the United States' announcement of the ratification of the Paris Agreement. World powers need to work together for more sustainable development. Today, the G20 welcomed efforts to enter the Paris Agreement into force by the end of this year. So if there's anything that the past eight years have taught us, it's that the complicated challenges of the 21st century cannot be met without co coordinated and collective action. La première conclusion, the big achievement we made at this G20 summit is all members have expressed their will to achieve a long-term economic growth. The second achievement, which I think is very important, is that China and the United States announced the ratification of the Paris Agreement. Leaders regard the G20 as an important platform for crafting other policies that will accelerate the world's economic recovery. Innovation and free trade are seen as key incentives. Uh, to, if you want, uh, <clears throat> reignite the economy, what is that we can do? And I think the proposals coming from uh, China uh, through the president were very clear that we need to break <clears throat> uh, and, and, and look at innovation as a critical driver mm. of the economic growth and you must have an inclusive economic growth. Using innovation and digital economy as the engines of long-term growth is what Spain has been trying to do, either in the European Union or in the G20. We deeply believe these are keys to increase employment, improve competitiveness and enhance growth.